New York and Clippers, they have similar offense. You know, they don't really have a, a, a great half-court offense. So, you know, they rely on one guy to hit a lot of the shots. So what's the difference between well, like Carmelo no, uh, and like Chris Paul? No, nobody in the world can stop that guy. He going to get a shot every single time. And uh, Chris Paul will get a shot every uh, time? No, time Chris too? Paul, they were running a high pick and roll. I would take the ball out of Chris Paul's hands. Chris, they did the same thing when they played Memphis last year. They ran the same play, high pick and roll. Uh, Chris Paul scored four straight baskets. I'm taking – now, this just was a hell of a play. That was a one-four a one four down. But the, the three baskets before they ran a high pick and roll, I'm taking the ball out of his hands. Listen, I love Kevin Durant. The only difference between Kevin Durant and Carmelo – Carmelo pulls up. Kevin Durant does it. If he 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 let the defense dictate. If they put a little guy on me, I'm gonna post him up. If they put a big guy on me, I'm gonna take him out on the floor. Kevin Durant doesn't post little guys up. He still tries to take him off the dribble. That's the only difference. He's the second best scorer in the NBA. But that guy Carmelo Anthony, nobody can guard him. Now, he might not make the shot, but he's gonna get a shot. A couple of those plays, nobody can stop those. I mean, well, just, just right here, just, look at. That. Like he he saw the defense coming, he wasn't gonna pass it because he knew he knew the house was on fire then. But nobody in the world can guard Carmelo Anthony. He's gonna get a shot a shot anytime he wants it. That's the difference. Like that play that Chris Paul runs, listen, I'm taking the ball out of his hand because even if they run that high pick and roll, uh, those guys they run the high pick and roll with in, in L.A. They can't shoot free throws. I would foul Blake Griffin if he grabbed the ball up high. Now, the, the second point, you heard Doc Rivers um, talking about the fouls called on Kevin Garnett. And, and the point you made as we look at the highlights, too, look, they had a plan going in here. They wanted to establish Kevin Garnett. They wanted to go to him a lot. He hits his first bucket. Then he gets the qu two quick fouls. He's sitting down. The point's valid by, by Well, Doc no, the Rivers. point's not valid in this sense. I thought they were – I thought – the one I saw just now was a foul. He obviously on the on the on the pick and roll, but he was gonna have a game, and and that is a foul. That is there's, there's no there's no no league in the world that's not gonna call no, that. But you know it is a foul. But him and Tim Duncan have been doing. Oh, that the whole you were just hating on Tim Duncan. Well, they've they been doing the whole career. Well, I'm just saying if they, if, if they've been doing the whole career, it's like you used to get away with that big butt back and forth. Let, let me just say this, Ernie. Listen, when you start off that highlight, you saw Rondo sit beside Danny Ames. Listen. Ain't there's, there's some idiots on television because the Celtics went on a little run, which every time a team loses, like to Golden State tonight, every time a team loses a player, a great player, they rally for a little bit. Once the Celtics lost Ray John Rondo, their season was cooked. They're not going to beat the Knicks without Rondo, plain and simple. One thing also I, I would say, you know, check about the, the – we talked about Clippers and the, and the Knicks. The Knicks are half-court team, meaning – that is their style, that they give the ball to Carmelo on three different areas. They're going to give him at the elbow, they're going to get it at the three, and they're going to post him up. And then they mix in J.R. Smith with those same things. But they will throw the ball in the post and force you and dare you to double. And, and, and J.R. Smith and Carmelo have not been guardable by anybody this year uh, on, a, on a consistent basis. So they force you and say, we dare you. We're going to put uh, Felton out here, Novak. We're going to put Shrump Shrumford, and we dare you to leave. And if people don't leave. And if you do leave, if you don't leave, he scores. And if you do come down, they knock down threes, and that's been the difference. And let me say, that's the way I would play the Knicks. Uh, which I, way? You I, would, I, you I, I was like, I'm not, I'm not I said, he going to have to get 40, and I'm going to go with him on the defensive end. You don't think he could get 40? I do think he's going to get 40. Now, he's, he's not, not going to get 40, what you've done. But I'm saying, you're not going to win a game with 40 points. I'm not going to let Novak go. Uh, uh, um, J. Kidd go. Not let them go. get 18. Too. I'm not going to let them get 18. Okay. He can't get 18. If Shuffle get 18, the Knicks uh, are going to win most games. But I'm going to play Carmelo. Like, Carmelo's going to get 25 to 30 points no matter what. If he gets 35 to 40 and nobody else get involved, that's the way I will play. And I will make him play defense. I got Jeff Green uh, I, I, and I got Paul Pierce. I'm going to make him play defense. I'm not going to let him be a one-half player just score every time. But I want to ask you this. Sure. Last thing. Didn't, didn't Golden State at one time when you were in your heyday say, we're not going to let you beat us. We're not going to let anybody else beat us. We're gonna, you're going to have to get 50. And how many did you get? I got 56. Okay. But, but and, thing, I, and he's a better scorer than you were. Yeah, yeah, but let me tell you this. But did they win the series? Yeah, we did. We yeah. swept them. And they swept them. Because they pissed me off and they made the commercial about Chris Webber Duncan on me. So I say, I'm going to teach you a lesson about making a commercial. Well, I'm just, I love you, see where. No, but the point. point. <laughs> I'm going to make a commercial on Chuck. No, 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 no
no, but the point is, I want to make is, if he will beat him. I think if you get underdog to look up, up at stats, we we didn't win the game because we scored 56 points. We had a bunch of, uh, we had two or three other guys who got high numbers. That's the difference in the game, Kenny. You okay. know what you need to do, Chester? There are a few things in your life you need to let go.